Placing name boundaries using the array method. In the previous section, within the DGN library, you designated areas on the sheet model using the drawing boundary feature. A drawing boundary is a predefined area on a sheet model which may contain a drawing. As you saw, the sheet may be subdivided into several drawing boundaries. In this section, you will break up a road corridor by creating an array along path using the name boundary tool. When creating an array along path, through the tool settings, you can determine the spacing between each sheet. This is especially useful when an overlap of sheets is desired. In this section, you will learn to place name boundaries using the array method, generate new sheet models that contain the content of the name boundaries, and populate the drawing sheet index. Here, in the MicroStation Connect edition, open the Roadway Plans DGN file from the DGN Roadway folder of the SR20 project. From the View tab, select the Place Name Boundary tool from the Name Boundary ribbon group. Set the following options. For the method, by length. For the name, Roadway Plan-1. For the mode, place an array of name boundaries along a path. This will be a new group. For the name of this new group, Roadway Plans. In the length field, 700, the settings for length, available only when by length is selected, sets the length along the path element of the name boundary element. It also determines the location along path of subsequent boundary elements. If you use the measure distance tool next to the field, the measured distance displays in the length field. For the left and right offset, 200. The left and right offset determines the distance from the path element that was selected. If you use the measure distance tool next to the field, the measured distance displays in the left or right offset field. There will be an overlap of 100. The overlap settings is only available when place an array of name boundaries along a path is selected. This sets the distance along the path element by which the name boundary element is to be extended. Positive values extend it and negative values shorten it. For the boundary cords, 10. Boundary cords, available only when by length is selected, sets the number of cords in a named boundary. More the cords, better is the stroking of the named boundary in a curve. And make sure that the Create Drawing option for this exercise is disabled. Bring your cursor into View 2 in the lower left of MicroStation. Following the status bar prompt, enter the path element at the start point by snapping to the intersection of the center line and the station tick mark at 1051. Next, move your cursor into view 3 in the lower right of MicroStation. Snap to the intersection of the center line and station tick mark at 1254 and issue a data point to identify the end point of the path. As a result, 37 name boundaries were created. In view 1, fit the view if necessary. Here you will see the name boundaries overlaid along the corridor. So far, each time that you have used the name boundary tool, the option for create drawing was enabled. Hence, once the shape for the name boundary was placed, immediately the create drawing dialog opened with options to generate the sheet model. And once the sheet was created, at any point, if desired, you could always resize or reposition the name boundary shapes for fine tuning. As an alternative workflow, this time you will utilize the name boundaries dialog to rename the boundaries based upon their respective station range. Then after these are renamed appropriately, you will then proceed to generate the sheets for the entire corridor via the crate drawing dialog. 
Along the ribbon, click the View tab. In the lower right corner of the Name Boundary ribbon group, there is an icon. These type of icons are called Dialog Launchers. Click this to open up the Name Boundaries dialog. The Name Boundaries dialog opens. From here, expand the Name Boundary group Roadway Plans. Take note of the automatic naming convention that was applied when the name boundary shapes were generated. You may leave the roadway plans name boundaries as is, or as an optional exercise step, rename the boundaries as shown here in this table. You can find this Excel spreadsheet, Roadway Plans, for your use at the Worksets, SR20, Standards, Data folder. Also, if you are working with the PDF for this course, you can select the text from this table and perform a copy-paste action. In the Name Boundaries dialog, select the Name Boundary Group, Roadway Plans. Then, from the icon bank of the dialog, click Create Drawing. Ensure that the following options are set in the Create Drawing dialog. For the name, leave this as is. This is the first boundary in the group. For the drawing seed, Plan Sheet only. Ensure that the Create Sheet Model option is enabled. This will be a new sheet. For the drawing boundary, plan sheet only. 1 inch equals 50 feet for the detail scale. Ensure that the option Add to Sheet Index is enabled. From here, select the Roadway Plans folder. And finally, ensure that the option Open Model is enabled. Click OK when finished to generate the roadway plans. Review the sheet index in the Explorer. Specifically, the Roadway Plans folder. Review the newly created sheets. Perform sheet-specific tasks such as adjusting the drawing title and turning off the name boundary level. As an alternative to turning off the name boundary level in each sheet model, make the design model active. Then, from the Name Boundaries dialog, turn off the display of name boundaries. By doing this, the name boundaries will be turned off in the respective sheets that the name boundaries are referenced to as well. In this section, you learn to place name boundaries using the array method, generate new sheet models that contain the content of the name boundaries, and populate the drawing sheet index. If you found this video helpful, please give it a like. If you want to see more such series, consider subscribing to our channel. 
thank you and see you next time.